All right, welcome back to our Guild Wars 1 playthrough of Factions, and we finished the final mission. We defeated Fear, uh, Shiro, Shiro with the help of uh, another Guild Wars player, a classic way to end the amazing campaign. But we're not finished yet because I totally forgot about these Luxon Bards. You can get these books from them, and then when you finish all the missions, you get uh you get um some faction and gold and stuff so why not this is the perfect way to get our 100,000 i don't know exactly how much you get for turning it in, but we still are missing one mission so i want to go back and do this i think that's the uh the, that's the kurzik mission that we missed and then i never turned this in i have a completed prophecies book that i just totally forgot about that's totally completed. We can turn that in and get like some amount of gold. I think it's like 5,000 gold or something and some experience. More importantly, this book is the one we want to complete because that Lux Infaction is what I've been needing. I'm going to run my cheeky build. Oh, actually, I should go Ranger, get my pet in this action. Um, I want to run my cheeky uh, Illusionary Weapon Rebuild with this beast mastery skill let me get that up a little bit they should have like this skill is really unusable there's so many better skills later on anyway i don't want to rant about that uh let's pump it up so we can at least get some longer longer duration on there uh we don't want that much missing 10 fast casting shit. and beast mastery will raise their damage of our pet okay to go to the Luxon, or sorry, Kurzix now, I need to go to Matu Keep. And it's funny, I need to do a Kurzix mission in order to get Lux and Faction. Uh, I need to talk to Jem Jemay. And befriending Journey to House of Zuhelser. This is the other primary quest that we didn't do last time. And I just need to go here because we already did the Arbor Stone mission. We should be able to just skip ahead here. Oh, this would be a good chance to s capture a uh, signet of capture, wouldn't it? I can't. Ah, let's go back really quick. I want to get a signet of capture. There, I'm sure there's some missing skills that I didn't get here. I'm going to keep ranger as my secondary because I might find a good ranger skill. And I might get a new mesmer skill. So why not? Let's get rid of this one. Actually, I kind of liked Arcane Conundrum. Uh, I don't... Yeah, with this build, I don't need a, too much energy management because I'm mostly auto-attacking, so... Gotta think like a warrior. Warriors don't bring energy any energy management, so neither am I. Um, Let's do it. So I go out this way. I just need to talk to someone. Or... Who do I talk to? Speak with Guardsman Aldrich. Let's go. Ready. Yeah. So this is like the Cavalon of the Kurzix. And honestly, this is one of my favorite, my favorite, uh, like, capital cities of all the outposts in Guild Wars. It's just so cool looking like emo gothic in a dark forest i think i think the kurzix are just freaking awesome uh talk to this guy count zoo health sir i think you're an audience with council nobles now we need to befriend the kurzix do I have to be fed the Kurzix in order to do the next mission? Is that right? Oh. <laughs> okay, it's going to be one of those episodes. <laughs> so we got to befriend the Kurzix. That means I'm going to lose I'm going to lose my Lux infaction actually. I should I should I should cash in this Lux infaction while I have it. Oh no, it, that doesn't mean that. Because I don't need to spend I don't need to spend Kurzix faction. That's right. I'm jumping ahead of myself. 
I just need to collect 10,000 Kurzik faction debt. Um, okay. So where do we need to go? Just need to, just need to accumulate. So we're going to be exploring. We're going to be doing quests. Preparing to do the last Kurzik mission of faction. Figure we can't move on just yet to Nightfall as much as we want to because I need to finish this. I need to finish what I started. Thousand Kurzik faction there. These don't give any Kurzik faction, so I'm not going to pick those up yet. This guy should have some faction for me. Melodic Gaki. Oh, I remember this quest. Not too bad. Let's go. Yeah, we're having fun. We're having fun now. I already beat the game. Already beat factions. We're just exploring this miss whole missing section of uh, of factions. <laughs> Need to kill a warden, dragon boss, and stone seal scales. Okay, that should be easy. Sure, we're gonna fight many of them. And let's go. Let's go. The collector here. Pretty good flame artifact. Oh. And I need some henchmen. The henchmen, the cursed henchmen are also really good. I like Lucas. He's got um quivering blade. Who else do I like? Asperg. Professor Guy. Get a nuker. And healer. And let's get Let's get cultist. Yeah, energy management. No. Let's bring one of these guys. I think blood and vile. Vile has icy veins. Let's get the icy veins. Super strong necromancer skill. So excited. I'm running um, sword and shield here. I feel like the daggers are nice. Uh, I, I can switch between them, actually. Let's start with daggers, and if things get hairy, I'll switch to sword and shield. Uh, okay, this is, this is the repeatable one, I think. We just need to deliver supplies. And talk to the priest, of course. Oh, we have to bribe him? Okay. Yeah, I forgot. We're friends with the Luxon, so they don't really like us too much here. Elena, hmm, not the best. Health regeneration one, plus ten armor. Let's get the regeneration. This guy. Oh, we can turn in pets to him. Oh, we can give it to him, and it'll give our tiger to the. Uh, Emperor. I don't know why I'd want to do that. And I also got a name request in the comments. Uh, what was the name? Roy's Bane. How do we do it? Name pet. Oh, I forgot how to. Oh, it has an apostrophe. That's why. All right, we'll, we'll try it out in a second. There it goes. No apostrophe. Grammatically incorrect, but it's okay. It's a funny name, actually. I like it. Shout out to Tar Heel for that name suggestion. We're getting 10 faction per kill. In no time, we should get that 10,000 faction. Might even do a cheeky, um, what do you call it? A cheeky, uh, noob proof green farm. I think there's a boss up here, actually, a farmable boss. A warrior, I believe. I actually know the Kurzik, the Kurzik land, like the Kurzik, uh, area. I'm way more familiar with this than I am the Luxons. I say that, yeah, here, a warrior. Warrior boss. Well, if I had gone warrior secondary, I'd get a... I would get a um, elite skill here. Cast Sympathetic Visage on myself, and... 
They don't. Oh, they're hitting my pet. That's why. There we go. Now they're hitting me. Look at that minus. They're losing all adrenaline and energy just for hitting me. Who are they hitting now? I can't really tell who's taking damage. I think the. Yeah, I'm taking damage now. Like, I wish there was, like... S okay, now I can see who's taking damage. Like, the I guess their damage just wasn't really going through. This thing. It's such a good spell against warriors. It... Just by hitting him, it means they lose all adrenaline. And usually warriors are adrenaline based, so... Not doing a ton of damage here. There we go, there's the damage. My, my pet's doing a whopping 2 damage per hit. But he's only level 11, so that's understandable at this point. Only got 90 faction for that. Maybe the higher your faction, the higher faction you rewards you get. Is that how that works? I don't think so. Eternal Flame one. That's pretty cool looking. So I'm looking for battles here. I'm going to be fighting as many people as possible. I want to get that faction up to 10,000. Might do the... Might even do the challenge mission. I can't remember which it was in... Um, Englewood Copes or no Ultram Ruins. That's the uh, I don't remember. I think that's it. Yeah, Ultram Ruins is the challenge mission for uh, Kurzix. And I believe it's a little bit easier to farm than the Luxons. At least it's kind of like a little bit more faster pace. The Luxon one is a little bit boring in my opinion. The challenge mission. Nice knockdown. There we go. It's also sympathetic visage is really good against assassins because they obviously need energy. Oh, I killed myself with illusion of vis illusion of weakness. I forgot it doesn't it doesn't lose. Uh, I forgot you can kill yourself with that skill. I thought it was a uh, health percentage for a second. Oh, that's unfortunate. So the dredge gatherers are rangers and they use I just saw they use archer signet. I can't remember can't remember exactly what that signet does. Something's getting rid of my enchantment. I kind of expected that, though. Where are you headed with this? Down here? There's a melodic gaki. Gaki. I'm gonna use... Arcane conundrum on these guys. Look at that. Such a tight a tight clump. They're not gonna be able to cast any spells because of Arcane Conundrum. Oh, that was good. That was really good. They got the gardener. I think the gardener is the monk, yeah. I do half damage because of protective spirit.
Oh, I can't tell which one is our teammate. Ah, so that Sheena, the uh, Donica's pets are fungal wallows. So they are creatures that you encounter in the game. Oh, I need to fight this guy. Where is he? Oh, he's like patrolling. Really? Let's wait till he comes this way so we can fight him alone. Oh, so he's not a boss. He's just a level 22 regular enemy. Uh, yeah, so you couldn't capture anything. All right, got our first quest item. I really like Arcane Conundrum, actually. Oh, Assassin. Dang. Be using. Beguiling Haze. Battle type the foe, and I think they become dazed. Why do I do zero damage? I had illusionary weaponry on. He's not taking any damage for some reason. Oh, I'm holding. Oh my gosh, I'm holding the item. That's why. Like, why? Why am I not doing any damage? Ah, uh, I really don't like these quests where I have to hold something. This would be really annoying for warriors playing through this uh, solo. At least we're doing damage. That rust skill is really nasty. The file flesh is also nasty. How are we doing on faction? We're already up to about a thousand faction. So I just need to times 10 this content that I've done so far. That's not true because I'm going to get some rewards for doing these quests. We'll jump up. Okay, Mesmer boss. I think this one doesn't have any skill that we don't already have, don't know. Mantra of recovery, yeah. Not impressive. Who's taking damage? My pet. There's the damage coming up. Hard to see what's going on though with this build. I'm like in the action. Yeah, why is he only taking 28 damage? Gatherer must be shielding him. Now he's taking 12 damage. Take the gather out then, I guess. It's crazy. Why is he taking so little damage? Or the oh the gardener, my bad. Can't reach him for some reason. Now let's see how much damage I do. What? Why is my... Oh. My attributes are lowered for some reason. There we go. There's the damage. I had weakness on me, maybe? 
125 faction for that guy. I think the faction reward goes up for enemies that you kill. The faction reward on bosses. Because the first boss that I fought only gave me 90, and that one gave me 125. Signet of or Mantra of Recovery, we already have that one. Oh my gosh, Oni on top of this. Gonna be bad. Let's stay in this ward. Only hope. Oh, not too bad. We lost uh, Dina. But my Roy's Bane got to level up. We got the Oni. We cast Arcane Conundrum on these guys. Oops. Window fell down for a second. Yeah, I really don't like Bestial Fury. But I want to use a pet. I still need to find a dragon moss and I need to go to these patrols. Oh, those are back in Arbor Stone. Fine. We won't. need to find a dragon moss. I mean, I'm doing a little bit over like 80, I'm doing like 90 damage a second or something because I'm attacking slightly faster than one a second. This stupid wells of profane. <laughs> this is not the right build to bring here with these wells. Totally removes my enchantments. Oh, and the Luxons are attacking us on top of this. Luxons? I'm your friend, I thought. How did you do this to me? Twelve hundred. The ritualist, the spring is their uh, healer. Yeah, my tiger's doing some damage now. Who's using the Well of Profane? That's what I want to know. I need to stay out of the well. Kinda hard to tell the difference between a well and a ward, though. Oh, I guess it's not. Wells are green. I'm finding lots of lux in here. Ah, uh, so lux and necromancer, of course. Totally kills my DPS.
Those stone cells didn't use tainted flesh. We need to find a way to capture that skill too. That might be fun to use. There seems to be some buffering time for when I drop an item and then begin my first attack. There's like a big delay there. I wonder if they did that intentionally. Really not good for uh, warriors having to carry this stuff. As long as I'm not in this well of profane, I'm okay. I can do lots of damage. Seventy-five enemies slain. I'm at thirteen hundred. Ooh, some more uh Kurzic quests. I'll turn this one in. Get a whopping like what? Really? Up up to the very end, you guys are gonna try and stop me. Where's the necromancer? No no necromancer. Yeah, with the DPS of a fully, like once my pet's up to level 20, I think my DPS will be not bad. Be almost 100 damage a second, I think. Okay. 400 faction. Already up to two, almost 2,000. What's this? Uh, scouts. Buckling scouts. Orders. So, finding the scouts. Scouting for... There's four Lux and Scouts. I can go back and do that. Might be a good idea since I already cleared out this area. And I still need to find uh, Dragon Moss. I'm on the look for those. Maybe there's no Dragon Moss in this area though. Might be looking the wrong way. Maybe I need to go into Ultram Ruins. Ruins? Or, I mean, uh, Arbor Stone. There's definitely Dragon Moss over here. There's that boss. Still have the, the blessing, so I want to get some use out of it. Now I don't have to worry about that. Uh, take out the necromancer first. I don't have to worry about the carrying the bundle. Now necromancer is gone, and we can handle them all no problem. Ah, uh, no Rune of Vigor. Let's go a different route and fight some more enemies. Oh, that's a big fern there. <laughs> Hence the name. Any Oni want to pop out here? Ooh, the color of the area totally changed. Very mysterious. Oh, it's a necromancer. Harg Plague Binder. Isn't there a Plague Binding Signet or something? Gardener is doing some healing.
But what are the dr the dredge are kind of like a mole people, I think. And they're in they we fought them in this stone summit. Uh they were slay enslaved by them, right? They're they're being enslaved by the stone summit. But I guess they're kind of native to Kanta. Maybe they just maybe they appear all over Tyria because they're underground. That's probably it. Because they're in the mountains, they're in the Kantha. Interesting. Just the mole people. And get a close up look at their face. They are. They look like naked moles. Oh, they're creepy. Good idea for a monster. See, that's one of the that's one of the other things I love about Guild Wars is their enemies are so unique. There's nothing wrong with like orcs and goblins and stuff, but and ogres or whatever, trolls. But uh, the typical fantasy monsters have been done so many times, and Guild Wars just comes up with these really unique enemies. I wonder how they even thought of them. Like the char, the these dredge, the the scale. Really cool. Like this thing. That's so awesome. Fungal wallow thing. Uh, we almost finished with this. We have three more. I need to go up here. I mean, it's fine. We're already over 2,000. I wish I could just transfer that Lux infection over. We do need that Lux infection still. I want to get friend of the. You know what? Actually, I'm already I'm already friends of the ally of the Kurzix. But technically, I can just spend this faction to get. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just do that. I can spend my faction on getting the uh, PvE skills from the Kurzik side. Why didn't I think of that? It'll be fun. So should be able to get the PvE skills that way. A lot of enemies popped up suddenly. What's going on? Heal as one. That would be a nice ele uh, elite skill to get as well. Defender. The cool shield, I remember that one. Love this shield. Oh, where is it at? 
Look at that. The only problem with this shield is as cool as it looks, it kind of clips. It clips into my arm. Like it's a very awkwardly shaped shield, actually. They made it too sh too angular. So it cuts into your arm. That's okay. Oh, there's a fight going on. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> That's the good thing about having henchmen is they don't mind doing the heavy, li heavy lifting, actually. They're not just gonna... Oh, man. Ritualist. What does he got? Signet of Spirits. Oh, that would have been excellent to capture. Are you kidding me? We could even run a cheeky Signet of Spirits Mesmer build or something. Where is he at? Oh, it's quite a distance away, too. Man, that interrupt savage shot or whatever, or distracting shot, delays my skill for a long time. Partner, there. Oh, I want to use uh, daggers. There you go. Yeah, see, my pet's doing pretty decent damage right now. It might even be worth buffing, bringing another Beast Mastery skill to um, buff him up a little bit. Maybe like an Interrupt or Condition skill or even a Healing skill. one 2.5 but i already completed one of these down here so that's 750 i still need oh i still need to find a dragon moss that's another 750 well of profane again no yeah, why did my illusionary weaponry not go off? I'm going way off course, that's the problem. I was hoping I was hoping it curves around that way, but I guess not. last quite a while 11 seconds you move 33 percent faster that's actually a really good running skill when it's buffed up like that one second cast time you can keep it up i actually hated this skill for a long time I was like what's the point you're just going to be crippled but as a running skill it's pretty nice there's the luxon And for this being Kurzik uh, territory, there sure are a ton of Luxons here. Ah, he got the Well of Profane off. Taking longer and longer for my pet to level up. Another reason I want a pet is uh, when I start getting heroes, I want to make sure they all have level 20 pets available. Just for a little trolley. Where's the gardener? Gardener, there he is. Mungry. Mungry magic box. 
he's hungry for that. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. I kind of feel like they were. That's a really interesting name choice, is all I'm gonna say. Your coral, let's get sympathetic visage on you. We need to take out the monks, guys. There's three monks, that's the problem. Switch to an old, oldest trick in the book. You switch targets after they cast their, oh, that's a gatherer, this guy. You switch targets after they cast all their protection spells and you can spike them down. Or the other gardener. There he is. They have triple. They've got cripple everywhere, and they're spread out. Like the AI here is pretty, pretty advanced. We go now. We can take out the magic box. Ripple is killing me though. I need to make sure I use Illusion of Haste when I'm moving around. Come on. Once this guy goes down, we can win this. There we go. And now they fall. They have no healing. That was tough. Definitely over aggroed that. Oh, we're up to 3,000 experience now. Hundred fifty enemy slain, that's crazy. And there's still so many enemies around here. Salvage all this. It's all gold once you salvage it. Yeah. And we still are. There's still two more scouts remaining. I don't know if this is worth it. This is. I mean, yeah, we're getting a lot of action, I guess. I mean, this is the idea. This is what the game wanted you to do. Explore, do lots of fighting, capture skill signets, find some green items. That's what they wanted you to do. I, it's like, I don't mind it because otherwise players wouldn't really feel obligated to explore any of this. They just rush through the missions. But at the same time, it does feel like a little bit forced. The uh, the uh, forcing players, giving the giving them this roadblock of ten thousand faction. Like I don't like uh, they did it again. Actually, yeah, they did it again in Nightfall. In Nightfall, there's tons of roadblocks with the sun. The way Sunspear faction works, I also was not a big fan of that either. Like. They don't want people to rush through the game. They want people to spend time in each of the areas that they work so hard to create, which I can understand that. But at the same time, it gives away or it takes away some of the choice that players would normally have. They probably learned a lesson from prophecies because they made this huge world in prophecies and they made the uh the missions you know progress the storyline and the character the player through the campaign makes it a little bit linear but then they must have obviously not liked the fact that players were just skipping huge areas but all they really need to do is make the reward of exploring greater they made the reward of exploring greater you wouldn't need to put in all these roadblocks 
Alright, let me help my team out. They just don't have enough DPS. I'm over here ranting about it and managing my inventory. Gosh, there's just so many of these salvaging things. Yeah, I know I could sell that Blessed for more money, but I just want to clear out my inventory. Another problem with not doing the storage. Uh, not having, I'm not able to use my storage, so I just end up with all of this junk. All these materials taking up all my space. I try to at least salvage them all to make it more condensed, but... Getting more and more. I need to sell this pat, a pile of glittering dust, actually. That's worth a lot of money. And I've got 35 extra overflow. So even though I'm pretty poor, I actually have at least like 5 or 6k in liquid liquidity. My assets are quite diversified. <laughs> All right, Gardener. You're standing so far back. Didn't even notice you. Yeah, I could have used Illusion of Haste there. Countered this. Like, this this Illusion of Haste is a perfect counter to their traps. But I'm just forgetting about it all the time. Who's that? Urkal the Ambusher. That sounds like a ranger, right? No, it's an assassin. I have to come back. He's pretty close. So the Luxons and the Dreads are Dredge are friends, I guess. Okay, we pulled the Luxon group away or the Dredge group away from the Luxons. Here they come. I want to take that Necromancer out ASAP. Good, good, good. I got out of the well. Get him. <laughs> that Necromancer counters my whole build. It's not, not difficult to do. 13, let's go. Tiger buddy. Oh, is there another Necromancer? Oh, they resurrected him. Okay. Good to know. Monk. Or the Ritualist. The Ritualist. It's the Ritualist. He's got, uh, resurrection capabilities. Wow, these areas are tough. Mainly, they're tough because the the build that I chose to bring. I get that. I get it. It's my fault. I'll admit that. Wake up, Tiger. Get back in the game. There we go. Okay. And it doesn't help that my henchmen all have some wicked... Uh, death penalty. Gardener's still alive. They were probably really shocked that we pulled out that victory. Luckily, with the expert strategery from my, from the player character myself, I was able to pull out a victory under really bad circumstances. All right, there should be okay. I finished it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed this up and I'm gonna backtrack all the way down there because I need to go to that area anyway. Okay, we are back. At this outpost, Loot Gardis Conservatory. I'm going to turn this in. And 400 faction. We are up to 3.5k.
What is this area? I think there is just faction rewards. Yeah, so let's see if I can even spend them here. I mean, I've got 3,500. Oh, can I? Can I? Uh, Kurzik skills. Oh, I can spend. I can get them. Okay. But I need to have 10,000 saved up. Uh, unspent first before. So, yeah, I can just come here and get them. What does it do? Uh, target foe loses 8 energy for each point energy loss this way. That foe and all foes in the area suffer minus 1 health to generation. So it's basically energy drain. Oh, no, no, no. Energy burn. It's energy burn, essentially. But instead of doing flat damage, it gives AoE uh, degeneration. And is it a hex? Yeah, it's a hex. That's nice. What is the necromancer one? Target foe and all nearby foes take 30 damage for each affected foe suffering from a condition or hex. You gain two max. So using both of these together might be nice, right? I can do a condition heavy degeneration build and run ether nightmare. And then I can have this on the side and that deals AOE damage and I gain energy. So it's energy regeneration. Awesome. They're all good actually. I can even get, I can even get the I can even get the uh dervish one. That's not helpful for us. A spear attack that's not helpful for us. Okay. Those are probably two of the best ones for us, the Nesmer and Necromancer. No. This one is good for us, actually. Because we're running illusionary weaponry. This assassin skill, look at this. You are blinded for 5 seconds. For 10 seconds, you gain 10 health regeneration and 40 armor. What the heck? That's even more than this armor. I don't think they stack for one. The armor bonus from illusionary weaponry and this do not stack. But oh, it's a 30 second recharge, though. 10 seconds usage, 30 second restart. Still pretty good. That 10 health, health regeneration is not bad. Okay. Triple shot. That's a cool one. Save yourselves might be nice, but we don't gain adrenaline because we're using illusionary weaponry. So I'm, I'm definitely got my eye on these two. All right. So that's the end of this episode. How to get... 10,000 Kurzik faction. We scouted out Ferndale. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make a whole nother video collecting the remaining uh, 6.5k faction. Uh, I might just farm it little by little on my own. And then uh, skip ahead to the mission area. I don't know. I'll decide. I'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, this is a good video. Uh, thank you for checking it out. And until next time, peace.